monday.com timeline tutorial project management tutorial hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can use the timeline views on monday.com and how to set up your own timeline views so let's get into it now the first step that you're going to do is you're going to go on to your monday.com account so i already have this account created over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add and i'm going to click on new board I'm just going to create this new board or you can even click on add over here so you can just click on add and then you can choose from templates so you can get started with one of these templates so on your left you have different categories of templates you have a lot of different types of template anywhere from marketing design sales hr education startups operations manufacturing so whatever you might want you have a lot of different options and what you're just going to do is you're going to click on over here so let's say I want a project management template and you can see I have different templates available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on timesheet and you can see I have this template and I'm just going to click on use template over here. And now my template is being loaded so you can customize your own template but we're going to be focusing on the actual timeline view. So to add a timeline view to your monday.com dashboard all you have to do is click on add view over here, click on more views and then click on timeline and open in board and now you can see i have my timeline view added now i can rename this to anything else if i want but i'm going to keep it at timeline because i find that name to be easy and simple so you can see this is my basic table that was created and now i have the timeline view for that so the timeline view basically appears in the form of this widget over here and you can just expand it like so and then you can see over here you have the auto fit section where all of your items that are present within the timeline will be shown. And then you also have your today section. So you can move to the uh, section where you can see today's items, today's work. And if I click on auto fit, you can see all of the items that have been added. Uh, no matter how early or late they were added, all of them will be fitted. Now, in your timeline view, you, you have this basic widget like so. So on your other side from the widget, you have your full screen if you want, you have settings. And if you click on settings over here, you can have different sections like choose timeline columns. So you can see I have these columns created by date and I can choose to remove them. Then you have group by. So you can group these by different employees. So let's say uh, you want to view the timelines for certain employees. You can view them as so. So you can add group by employee, board, group. So um, maybe instead of like employees, I want to group these by the board so now you can see depending on the board this will appear so this is all going to be the work from the timeline board or timesheet board and if i have some other board then the work from that will be grouped in a separate section but i prefer keeping it grouped by employees or supervisors because that is one way to really keep your work intact and have a streamlined workflow on monday now other than this, on your timeline view, you have view settings. So you have group summaries, indication, weekends, and show color legend. So you can click on edit workdays and you can set certain workdays for your business as well. And then in your settings, you also have choose group. So you can see I have top group currently week one, week two, and all groups. So I have selected all of these groups to be appearing on the timeline view that I have created. Now, if I go back onto my timeline view, you can see over here you have days, weeks, months quarters years so if you have like very large projects that run in yearly quarters or if you're doing budgeting for a very large business then you can easily budget it in yearly quarters and view it in the timeline view so you can see i have these four quarters of the year and then you can have years as well so you can plan on years in advance on the timeline view and you're easily going to be able to mark different indicators of your project. Now, other than this widget, so if I decrease the size of this widget, I can click on add widget and I can add a different kind of widget in my timesheet as well. So if I click on chart, now I can add another chart as well to further illustrate the timeline view. If I want to add like a number section, I can add a number section, but I don't really need this. And depending on the type of, you know, work plan you have, if you want a Gantt plan where you can visually see your tasks. So you can see I have this Gantt view over here. I have week one, week two. I have all the days of each week. And if I scroll down, I have the second week. And then you have the dates over here. And this is like a more detailed version of a timeline view or the initial widget that you receive. So if I scroll back up, this is like a simplified version and this is a more detailed version. Now, it really just depends on you and what you prefer to add to your workspace. Now, other than that, on your timesheet or on your timeline view, you can click on new item and you can create new items directly from here. 
and view them on your timeline view. So you don't have to go back into your main table to further add more items, but I'm going to show you guys different assignees. So let's say I add a supervisor of myself and I add a employee as myself on this task. Now, once I have updated this and now I just went back into the timeline view, you can see the tasks that have been assigned to me have been separated and the unassigned tasks have been separated as well. So in this way, you can monitor team progress very, very easily. It is super efficient to view team progress like this. I find it to be super helpful, especially when you're a supervisor or a managerial person, because you're easily going to be able to see the workflow. You're going to be able to see how much work each person is doing in a week, and then you can redistribute work accordingly. And then if you scroll down, you also have chart progress where you can view the overall progress of your business or of your project, whatever it might be. Now. Although Monday.com's timeline views are fantastic and I love them, they are super efficient to use, they are coming at a cost. So if I go on to Monday.com's pricing, you can see that the free version of Monday.com only allows you to add two team members, but there is also more limitations. You can't add timeline views. And the basic version of Monday.com starts at $8 per seat per month, which means per member per month. And this also does not have timeline views. So on the standard version, which starts at $10 per seat per month, you get timeline views, Gantt views, calendar views, guest access, 250 automations, 250 integrations, and you can create a dashboard that combines up to five boards. Now, if you want to use timeline views, then you're definitely going to have to upgrade to the standard version of monday.com. But I find that the usefulness of the timeline views really does pay for the price because you're going to be using these views very often. They're very efficient to use. And if you were ever planning on upgrading to a premium version, you would definitely, for most people, the individual version just doesn't do it because you can only add two members. And then the basic version is only $2 less than the standard version. So for most people, I would recommend just going up to the standard version, which starts at $10 per seat per month. And if you want, you can go on to the $16 pro version, but I wouldn't recommend it because you have 250 automations and integrations, which you get on the standard version. And for most people, that will suffice. And you have all of the basic use and the basic things that you need to do are fulfilled easily on the standard version. Now, if we go back onto our timeline views and if I click on add over, so if I click on this new board and if I add Nats or I can add semester one, I'm just going to add semester one and then semester two. Just to show you guys that not only are these going to be helpful in business or work or projects, these are super helpful in managing your overall daily tasks. So if you want to manage your student workflow, so you can click on add view over here, click on more views, click on timeline views, and now you can see over here, I have this super easy little timesheet available. I have the days when things are assigned, when things are due. If I want to change the due date, I can move the task. If I have a task, I can just open this like so. And then I can change the status of the task. I can add more people to the task. And this really will help you manage your overall task in a simple manner as well. And if you're a teacher, then you can also add like a student dashboard and add different students. And then you can add them as assignees on monday.com. And directly mark their work from here instead of having to you know constantly check if someone has done their work yet they will just easily update the work whenever they submit it they can just submit their work and change the status to done and then once the work is done you will know so that is how simple and easy it is to use the timeline views on monday.com i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to use the timeline views on monday.com make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions about this uh, platform if you have any questions about monday.com and how to use them make sure to leave them in the comment box down below and i will make sure to answer them as soon as possible and i will catch you guys in the next video.